Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Post Market Review. I'm reviewing SWHE. This is a gap. It's happening live. You can see right here, this is happening live. It's at 1544. Uh, here, here you can see it better here. This is a one minute chart. This is actually a gap. It's happening live. I knew to watch this because it was an earnings report. Gaps happen for lots of different reasons, and I play them for lots of different reasons. However, I know to watch certain things when they have earnings. And I expected this to get down, so I wanted to watch it. This is the top pick for me for tomorrow morning. So the stock closed uh, here today, just today, at 17. And basically came down here to 14.10, but now it's up here to 15.44. So they just have to let this get on going here. I don't know where this opens tomorrow, but I like it. I like it tomorrow for a short. This is a bearish watch for tomorrow, and this is one of my top picks. I will rate this in the morning. I like to rate things in the morning and look at things in the morning and determine what I think they're going to do. I think this could have the possibility to have some nice extension on it tomorrow, and I'm going to be watching the market to see what the market does tomorrow as well, but it's Friday, and it, you know something would have to go to the target immediately in the morning for on a Friday for me to hold it to the bigger target, but this gap looks good. Again, I don't know what the volume is going to be in it tomorrow morning in the pre-market or where the gap is going to be. A few moments ago, it was down at 14.10, and now it's at 15.50. This is definitely going to hold the gap by tomorrow morning, but I have no idea exactly where it's going to open until I watch a trade in the pre-market and see what it does. But it's a good short. It's definitely going to rake good enough to do. I just can't figure out the targets, the resistance, or anything like that until I get up in the tomorrow morning to see. And I'll wait till then to rate it. Lots of times I like to wait till the morning because my eyes are seem clearly and fresh, but I do watch stuff at night to see if there's anything good that I can get excited about tomorrow. And I'm excited about this. This is good. So I spent the whole day actually working on my own trading, which is something I haven't done for a while because I really haven't needed to revamp anything I'm doing. But the one thing I've noticed lately is that my top picks are almost never failing. And sometimes, if the stock doesn't set up by 10 o'clock, I get off of it. I either go do something else, or I move off of the top pick. And I went back and looked at my results for the last three months and realized that my top picks are almost always working. Like, I actually only found one that didn't work. <laughs> so the thing is that I want them to set up by 10. I need them to set up by 10. I like them to set up by 10. But the thing is, I've decided that I'm actually going to stick with the, my top pick at all costs, unless... It tells me right into the open that it's going to fail, and, uh, and I have a signal for that in the way that it trades in the price action. But if it doesn't tell me immediately it's going to fail on the day, then I'm going to stick with it, even if it doesn't set up till after 10. I've just decided that today. And I think it's going to improve my results even more, which is hard to believe because I have great results trading. I have great results trading, uh, but my analysis of my top pick is almost never wrong to the point that I've just decided I'm going to take conviction to a whole other level here and never get off of my top pick in the morning. Because my pre-market analysis of uh, stocks and gaps is just is top notch. I mean, it is top notch. It is better than any human being that I know out there. And, you know, you, sometimes they don't set up by 10. And, and I hate when they don't. But the fact is I'm going to stick with them even if they don't from now on because they always work. I mean, they always work. I only found one that didn't work in the last three months. And so, you know, I think I got to just stick with my top pick and that's what I'm going to do. But there's many things to watch in the morning. You can do anything that rates over 20, but you know, I tend to gravitate towards the absolute best thing out there to get it and hit it. And I'd say 70% of the time, the stocks break early by 10, but there is that 30% of the time where they don't. And why they don't, who knows? But they still end up breaking and going then on the day. And I don't want to miss those moves. And so I've decided that I'm going to take conviction to a higher level here starting tomorrow. And I, I don't know anyone that has conviction in what they do or their strategy or their method more than me. And I'm even going to take conviction to a higher level now because I'm absolutely, when I have 100% conviction, not going to give up on what I like no matter what, even if it doesn't happen by 10 a.m. in the time frame that I want it to. I'm not going to give up on it. So... We'll see what happens. I think it's going to result in uh, even more uh, profits for me in reality because I'm so, so sure of myself when I read my gaps in the morning. I just, my rating system, the way that I look at these, I'm looking at so many things. It's so detailed. And that's why it works so often. To get, to get 20 things or 26 is an unbelievable amount of points for something to get. And it's such a high percentage of odds of working. The problem is that sometimes they don't work right away in the first 30 minutes.
Sometimes they just don't, but they work on the day, and that's where I want to be in them to get the momentum and the move. So I like this. Do I want this to set up a meeting and go and break? Yes. Is it going to depend on where the price of the day opens tomorrow morning? Yes. Is that going to depend on where it goes for the targets? Yes. And so I can't do any real targets on this or resistance until it gets going here tomorrow morning because so many things could change about this, but it is going to stick in the gap. So that I know. So you could watch SWHC tomorrow morning for a short. Unless you're in my training room, you're not going to know where the resistance and the targets are to get this correctly. Uh, I think this is independent. I think this is on its own, and this is going to work tomorrow. Is it going to work immediately? It's going to depend on where it, it actually opens and also how many people in the morning are in it. So nine chances out of ten when something happens at night, you tend to bring in a lot of people then into the morning. They see it. They sp spot it at night. But it's got to get the follow through, the continued selling into the morning period to get the drop down. Okay? Well, this is a pretty big name. And it's going to come up on people's watch list, and it's actually gapping down tonight, and it's a nice weak watch here. So this is Melissa with the stock. Swoosh.com. This is SWHC Smith & Wesson. I anticipated the stock gapping down tonight. That is exactly what it's doing. I'm going to be watching this as my top pick tomorrow in the live trading room. For those of you that follow me and watch me, uh, you can watch this too, and everybody in the room, you could, you could work on this tonight. You could rate this tonight if you want. i got to clear my head here because I've been working on my trading stuff all day. And, you know, it's a good time now to get organized in June for what you want to accomplish in July and August. July and August are heavy trading seasons for what I do for gaps. A lot of money to be made at that time period in the summer. Tons of gaps after July 4th and earnings season starts for third quarter. And it's a time to make money. It's a time to reassess your risk. Do you want to up your risk? Do you want to keep your risk? Do you want to start holding to targets? How many stocks and gaps do you want to take on a day? And I've decided here now that... I may just do one and never, ever, ever do more than one because I am not going to give up on my top pick no matter what unless I spot an immediate failure into the open, which, which I, I'm capable of doing. So that's what I decided here today because I went back and reviewed even the last three months and I only found one, one, one. I only found one that did not work right. And there were some that set up after 10. But, you know, big whoop de doo So I'm going to have to stick with these puppies no matter what because my overall analysis of this is just too darn good. And there's just money here every day in these things. The thing is, though, that the days that they set up later, I'm going to be trading into the afternoon. And it's not something that I typically like to do, but if it means more money, I guess I'm going to do it. And it's not going to be often. I mean, most of the time they break in the morning so quickly, quickly, quickly. But I realize that. If it means me trading into the afternoon to take a late setup to make more money, then so be it. I think that's just what I'm going to have to do here, I've decided. So it is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great evening, everybody. Watch the SWHC tonight. This is a Stock Swish show pick for tomorrow. This is the top pick as of now. Now, there's a couple things that are out tomorrow morning, and there'll be new gaps unexpected tomorrow morning, but as of tonight, tonight's watch is for tomorrow's picks. This is number one. Have a great night, everybody. And the gap class is this weekend. June 21st and 22nd. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.